Thanks for tuning in and welcome to the Tech Talk. Today we are in Lotswil, Switzerland, and we are going to visit a very interesting company called Jorns. And I have an appointment with the CEO, so I would say, let's go inside. Hello, Mark. I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for being my Tech Talk guest today. Thanks for coming and welcome at Jorns in Lotzwil. So I have heard uh, Jorns is a family-run business which uh, operates internationally. Can you introduce Jorns a little bit more to the audience? Yes, Jorns is a family-run business in second generation. Uh -huh. We produce about 100 to 120 sheet bending machines, wow. uh, specialized in long lengths. Uh -huh. We have about five and a half thousand machines outside in the field wow. that produce sheets for uh, buildings and for uh, fabrication halls and private homes. Five and a half a thousand, that's actually very impressive. Um, can you tell me and the audience what is your mission with the vending machines? Yeah, our mission is to produce machines for the roofing and cladding industry so they can uh, produce the sheet metals for the roofs and for the facades to protect people, animals and goods. So your core business are bending machines, but I guess you're not just a manufacturer of standard bending machines. Uh, can you tell me what you're offering to the customers? Yes, we are offering machines, software and of course also services for, as you said, standard bending machines. We are also producing fully automated double bending systems as well as totally uh, automated uh, bending cells where the loading and the unloading is also included in the bending cell. Morg, I strongly believe that quality is also a very important topic for the customers, right? Absolutely. As a Swiss company, quality is already a promise. And of course, we have a lot of uh, high demand, high quality uh, expectations on our products. Therefore, accuracy in the machine is a very, very high uh, request that we get every day. You recently invested into a Starock STC 1250. Morik, tell me, what was the reason? Yeah, the main reason was the automatization that the machine can supply for us. Uh -huh. uh, in the Switzerland, as a Swiss company, we have the challenge of small batches yeah. because we are in a niche market. And therefore, we decided to look for a machine that can provide us a better automation and a better possibility for small batches. And how important is the five-axis machining center for that? The five axes are very important for our parts. Parts like this part in front of us. Yeah. Uh, we like to position this part only one time uh -huh. and then finish the part, the milling from all the different sites. And therefore, we, uh, five axis machine is absolutely essential. So you can save time and... We can save time and it provides a better accuracy because we are not moving the part right. once it is in the machine. We're saving time and money and how important is the four station pallet changer? This pallet changer is very essential for us. Uh -huh. We uh, try to be very customer focused. That means every machine built to uh, customer specification. Therefore, we also have to change from one model to the other model uh, within the production process. That means there's uh, similar parts like this, but they're not exactly the same. And this pallet changer gives us the possibility to change from one part to a different part in a very short time. Mark, tell me, how was the cooperation with Storak? It was very professional. We asked for a very complex machine. We had uh, certain demands for flexibility, for accuracy, productivity, and uh, our questions and our demands that we placed at Starag were fulfilled very professional. So you were happy with it? Absolutely, as the result that is here in our fabrication hall, it's very satisfying. Can you measure the hopefully positive impact into the investment of the Starag machine? Right now we are still in the startup process of the whole uh, fabrication. But already now we see uh, big advantages in having all these different tables there. We can, uh, for example, run one uh, finished program part already in the same time while we are programming on the other side. And this gives us already now a big impact on productivity. We see also the accuracy that comes out of the machine, that's spectacular. 
and we are uh, very, very positive that, that this will be a good success for us. Mark, very last question. Tell uh, us uh, what is the most important thing to be a successful machine builder? Of course, it's the accuracy of the machines in the end. It's also the functionality, it's the yeah. software, it's a lot of components, hardware components that are important. But there is also a lot of soft factors that are very important, such as the employees, our uh, professional employees that build the machine with a lot of passion. We also build our own employees up in our uh, apprentice program and that's a big key success factor for me too. Mark, thank you so much for giving us such a great insight into your company. I strongly believe that this is an amazing company. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much for coming to Lotswil, to yours. And uh, to the audience, thanks for watching. I wish you a great day and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.